Dear Chris, I am writing to you from my home in North Yorkshire. This place is my paradise. Home to my family, my community, and surrounded by incredibly rare wildlife and habitat. This letter is for you, your friends at Wild Justice, and those who would choose to believe what you say. I see you on the television and read your articles and see that you, like me, have a true passion for the natural world. This last two years have shown me that you neither understand nor truly care about the real British countryside. Those that live in it, the animals that live on it, and the incredible amount of work that it takes to sustain. Creating the perfect recipe for wildlife to thrive is simple. Mixing food, a perfect habitat, and limited predation will see any species thrive. As you know, you were instrumental in taking away my ability to uphold the last piece of that puzzle two years ago. I am a passionate bird watcher, spending many hours sitting and watching Curlew on the moors. Seeing them on the moor means I have done my job. This last two years have been different. You and your friends took away my ability to control one of the most destructive predators on this moorland. Goals. Countless times I have had to sit helpless watching a ghoul destroy another bird's nest or eat their chicks. Watching a common species decimate a rare one is surely not what you think is right humans messed up the natural order of things in this country millennia ago. So why do you say that now, when our population is nearly 70 million people, is it time to rewild Britain? I can tell you exactly what would happen if I were to stop doing my job and let the area rewild. It would be a disaster. Gulls, crows and foxes would decimate the paradise we have created and these beautiful birds would be gone. Gull populations are not at risk. They thrive next to humans. You see them in town, at landfill sites and fisheries. But what you don't see is them coming back to this moor to kill the beautiful and rare species that live here. The science says that controlling these gulls does not affect their numbers, but can be hugely beneficial for conservation. Even your friends at the RSPB have spent years trying to control their numbers to save endangered terns. So you cannot say this is a grouse issue. This is a wildlife issue, Chris. You are putting the fate of individual animals ahead of the fate of an entire species. I know everyone has political and financial motivations. To remain truly unbiased about something as wonderful as wildlife is next to impossible. However, I cannot stay silent any longer. Your agenda is putting already struggling species at risk. Not just here in my home, but nationwide. There are special licenses available that would enable me to control gulls. To 
protect the curlews, golden plover and lapwing. But Natural England's licensing team are not issuing them to those most in need. Our studies have shown the loss of thousands of eggs and chicks to this issue. And you and your friends have chosen to ignore it. I fear that left unchecked, more species will decline under the weight of gull predation. I ask again, why are you preventing me from doing my job? Why do you think nature will sort itself out? Why, if you love wildlife, don't you want the same as me? Yours truly, a grouse keeper.